Our first inductee in the contributor category is Larry Martin of Eden Prairie. Before he began his 55-year Hall of Fame career as a public address announcer, Martin used his voice for another reason. He was a baritone in the Edina High School Choir, and through singing, he drew raves from audiences. He sang the lead in the operettas, including the Mikado. Singing came naturally for Martin, and it ran in the family. His family was in the Odin's Choir and the Apollo Club, and the brother was a tenor in operettas. While Martin enjoyed the singing, he wanted to use his voice for another purpose, and that was to honor his classmates. But I looked forward to the uh, athletic events where I could uh, be there and, you know, many, if not all of the athletes were classmates of mine and that I could do something to honor their accomplishments. Martin began his public address announcing career by working B-Squad games during Edina High School's glory days of boys basketball, when the Hornets were in the process of winning three consecutive state tournaments. His talents began to circulate through the halls of Edina High School and really took off when he was approached by Edina swimming coaching legend Art Downey. He was an inductee into this league's Hall of Fame in the year 2000. By the time he graduated from Edina High School, Martin was the public address announcer for basketball, track and field, and swimming. I was a track man, and we were uh, working out, and Art Downey came through the area where we were working out, and he said, Larry, I'd like you to announce a, a swim meet for me this afternoon. And I said, Mr. Downey, I've never seen a swimming meet. He said, well, you're a track man, you'll pick it up. And so then I started doing the, uh, the swimming and that was the Edina's first year in the, uh, swimming. The, the state Southview pool was new and uh, that was the introduction of swimming to Edina. Downey knew Martin had special talents behind a microphone and had no reservations about having a high school student perform that service. Uh, I didn't have any, I don't think I had any qualms about it. But yeah, no, I, uh, he seemed like a nice, nice young guy. You know, I, I, was, I was probably about five or six years older than he was. You know, my first year coaching, he's probably 17 years old. I might have been in my early 20s. And uh, so there wasn't a big age difference there. And uh, I was very comfortable with him, and and he, he was uh, he's always been very comfortable with anybody, I think, and, and uh, you know, he's always at ease. And, and over all those years of announcing so many meets, and I, and I've been when he announced the state meets, of course, I was coaching sure. in in those state meets, and uh, he he was always calm, always collective, never got flustered. It, Friendly with everybody, yeah, yeah. Just, just, just a great, uh, a great human being. You kind of get the feeling that you're just sitting in the living room somewhere talking to somebody. <laughs> he's, he's announcing it, and just nice, even tones, and and uh, you don't have any problem, kind of relating to him and feeling comfortable. I think he, he just adds a lot of peace and tranquility to the whole situation. Sure. In 1960. Martin was first selected the swimming public address announcer for the Minnesota State High School League state meet. I was never scared in front of a microphone. <laughs> I think I was a natural. I, I'm not bragging, but it just, you know, I could just sit there and, and immerse myself in the event and report what was going on and the names and stuff. One of the things I did early in my career is for the event that was in front of me, I would go through every name and make sure that I could pronounce it because I know that uh, the athletes, parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles would be there and that would give them honor. And I think the, the athletes appreciated it too. Martin takes pride in providing professionalism in honoring the student participants and their achievements. Very joyful, yeah. You know, all of the uh, events that I uh, announced, 
uh, knowing that we were doing something that was honoring the, the uh, accomplishments of the high school athletics. And that's, that's the way I look at it. Sort of laid back. I came through an era where a lot of the PA announcers uh, were yelling into the microphone and, and they were cheerleaders, for the, which, which I thought was not fair to do. Uh, so it was just to, to be there and to help them enjoy the event.